In XSI we can work with components and clusters as well as the object level. For deformers we can also use things like weight maps. With my entire object selected I'm going to apply a weight map property. Underneath my clusters now appears a weight map. If I were to switch to all nodes underneath the weight map you can also see a few extra properties inside here and these are a reflection of that property page that turns up. With it selected I could apply a deformer, so say something like a push operator. You notice the connection divot to the amplitude of the push is automatically connected. So now I can move my object like so. The base weight controls the influence of the entire weight map as it's been applied. If I were to reduce it to zero I can now start to paint the area of influence. So now if I paint this area only that area will receive the push operator in this case. I can switch to default types inside here but these are only going to be switched to the original base weight. Underneath the construction history, if I were to remove my weight painter, you can see my base weight. And now if I were to do, say, a linear, you can see how my object is deforming based on the preset. But when working with zero, it will be looking for any painted area such as this. I could also change the reference position of my weight map but again that's going to be looking for the base weight itself. All of these weights can be controlled through the brush properties which is control W and you can now see I can play with my radius, my opacity and hardness, softness, that sort of thing. So these are all my brush properties and I can change to things like interactive. The much larger the mesh the more difficult it will be to maintain full interactivity but now as I paint you can see there is a certain amount of interactivity here. In addition to the brush properties we also have the standard weight panel so any paint tool I can use these properties here. So currently I'm in additive mode whereas left mouse button adds, the middle mouse button changes the brush size and the right mouse button decreases the weight. I can also use things like smooth. So now when I paint on here I'm just smoothing, averaging the weights around here, something like so. If I use erase when I left click it simply erases that part of the weight map like so. And absolute puts it to the highest value for the deformer and for the, as you can see, a constant 100% here. Reveal is for when I have two weight maps and I want to reveal the deformation of one below the other. So playing around with things like add, if I were to change the opacity, when I add here you can see I'm changing the opacity of the brush, whereas if it were 100% when I click it goes to full opacity like so. This works with erasing the brush as well. If I were to delete my entire weight map cluster obviously everything disappears but I still have the ability to uh, apply a deformer and then my weight map. So if I were to do something like with my object selected here go deform push I can apply the weight map afterwards. So if I were to try and connect here I have no weight map if I were to select my object, apply the weight map property, I can now connect 
there we go, to that weight map and it's now connected. So as before I can control the push with my base weight, push it down to zero and then start to paint on here. But remember from your last session whatever's been left inside here will be my current brush properties. So had I been on smooth and I start to paint and nothing happens, it's because it's still smoothing and there's no addition. So go back to add, you go back to the full property here. So inside the push op, there we go, I've now done it up to an amplica amplification of two. I've been working on the entire object. I could also work just on a part of the object. If I were to select, say, edges here, and I apply a weight map, it will not be applied to that current selection. If I go to polygons, apply a weight map, it won't be applied to that selection. If I go to points on the other hand, it will create a weight map based on that selection. So if you have something like your edges here, simply go to uh, select adjacent points and then apply your property. If I were to do the same thing, and now when I start painting, make sure I'm in additive mode. I cannot paint outside the original boundary specified by the cluster.